Are you looking for the next craft beer to drink? Well, maybe. Anderson Valley Frambois Rose Gose is the beer for you. Welcome back, everybody. I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. And I was going to butcher it, so I like it. Frambois, yeah. Gose, Gose. 4.2% ABV and 12 IBUs. So I bought this at Megabev. Um, by now, I think the can, the tag is off it, but yeah. the cashier said this is the best this Gose has, she has ever had. This has to be over two months old. I don't think. Yeah, I do. Really? Yeah. I didn't think that I bought it that long ago. I thought it was May. Wasn't it May when I was looking? Jake, you need to can it. Um. Yeah. When did I go to Megabev? Didn't I go to Megabev? It's looking? been a while. Okay, it's not really, it's not old though. Yeah. Two months for okay. go say we should be fine. Okay. No head whatsoever. I do have some white bubbles around the outside. If we look at the color, very light pink color almost like if you took some um strawberries almost like a uh straw or strawberry a cherry seven up no, okay a little lighter okay is right. what i would say okay. very clear uh some bubbles coming up okay. not very many smell that smells good fruity raspberry what a framboise should taste should, should smell like. Yeah, I was gonna say more of a raspberry kind of thing than like a, a cherry. I don't know how they call these beers. Cause it's not like a beer. You know what I'm saying, Jake? I'm not telling you again. Stop. Okay. I don't. I don't get salt. Well, no. I think it's supposed to be raspberry deliciousness. Yeah. Right? Okay, more raspberry than anything. This is good. It's dry, a little bit dry mm -hmm. taste left in my mouth, but it's good. And I like that they're not trying to pair raspberry with sea salt. Yeah, I like I it's really a ras don't get good raspberry. Salt. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think yeah. it's it's a very very good um, raspberry. Go say. I would almost put this in like the kettle sour mm -hmm. market yep. than a gose, but I guess I've never taken raspberries and putting put sea salt on them to see what it tastes right. like. But you're getting that raspberry tart. Yeah, this is in good. their dryness. I think I would only be able to drink one of them just because yeah. of how sweet it is, but it's not overly sweet. It's, it's a not very, really very good tart. raspberry taste. It's, to me, it's more dry than anything. Mm -hmm. But I like it. I think if I drink more than a can of it, though, I'd have a stomach ache. Yeah. Because it's sweet. But, um... I guess it, it's not full-on raspberry, so maybe that sea salt cuts that raspberry fruitiness kind of thing. It could be, but I don't taste sea salt, and that's what I like about it. Right, but I wonder if the raspberry is powerful... But that sea salt can cut into it, and the raspberry still takes over. Could be. I think it's good. I agree with that cashier. It's delicious. Yeah. Um, I wouldn't say it's the best I ever had. Lime. Went yeah. Well, but um. I would go with a four out of five. For not knowing, I've never bought this. I've never heard yeah. even heard of Anderson Valley Brewing Company. I don't know who makes Moose Drool. It almost, I have no idea. I think it's the same place. I could be wrong. Boonville, California. I I can't remember. But there's was, a moose drool. Okay. I just I, thought this was interesting yeah, to find I at Megabeth because I'm like, I've never seen anything like this. And then when I went to check out, she's like, oh, it is so delicious. And it is good. It's sweet, dry. Um, I struggle to find, I struggle to, to categorize these as beer yeah. I'm sorry. I if do. you're into dry wines, and it's good, you you would probably like this. Yeah. You know what this would be good if you just dumped a bunch of these in and made some fruit and did like a sangria. Yeah. Like that's what would be good. 
Because I wouldn't say it's a beer. It's good, though. Yeah, uh, Anderson. I I can't remember who did You got your phone right next to you with all kinds of information on the internet. I'm not allowed to be on it. Whatever. Anyways, (laughs) um, see if anyone else has liked it. Because that's your next step. So So I'm going with a four? Yeah, I would go four, four and a half for me. I think it's good. That's a big jump. Um... Uh, well, yeah, I, I think it's, I think it's good. I don't think that I could make it better. I don't think it's perfect because it's so little <clears> dry. <throat> but I like that it's not that you can't taste sea salt mixed with raspberry because I'm not sure if I would like that. Okay, this is good. I like, I like the taste of it, and I'm happy that I bought it. Seven of my friends have tried this. Average three point nine six. Okay. Uh, Thirteen thousand people have had this. Average. 3.82. So they agree with you and not me, and that's okay. Yep. I can take it. Light raspberry, floral rose hips, sea salt, tart, acid. Interesting. Acidic. Sorry. That's interesting because I don't get floral yeah, don't rose either. hips. I get raspberry. I really do. I get a little, like a dry raspberry taste. Yeah, that's pretty much it. But I'm glad we tried it yeah. because that girl was pretty adamant that it was delicious and so. Yeah. yeah, if you have somebody that is looking for a beer that's a dry wine like. Or like yeah. that likes Gose. Because yeah. I liked this and I like the Gose style. So I think that that's a win-win. Yep. Cool. Anything else? I have nothing else to add. Cool. So that'll wrap this beer review up. And until next time, I'm Brad. I'm Jessica. Happy brewing.